I just want to say, make sure to subscribe to Spanko YGO. Make sure you subscribe, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Spanko. We're actually on our way to locals because we're actually kind of late, but today we're playing in a 3v3. That's what we're doing. And we're playing Dynamorphia in today's video. Our team consists of me, of course, Richard, who you guys have seen on the channel, as well as Mateo. And then Alpha here is uh, acting as our coach for the day, even though he's not actually gonna be coaching, but he's kind of like the team manager. But if you guys do enjoy these videos, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel. And with that, I have to actually get in because we have to sign up. The event starts at one, but it's like pretty close to the event time. So we got to get in there fast. I'll keep you guys updated when we get in. All right. So we finally got signed up. We put our deck list together. Everything is submitted. We are good to go. I'm super excited. Richard and Mateo are off doing their own thing right now. But yo, this is my first 3v3. I'm kind of excited for the event low key, but I'm also kind of nervous. You know, when you're playing the 3v3, you have A, B, and C players and you register that before the event. So it's not like you get to choose who you're playing against. So for that reason, I have no idea who I'm going to be playing against every single round, but I should be prepared. I built the deck so I'm prepared for pretty much any meta matchup right now. So I'm excited about that. It is kind of a full house, which is really nice, but also kind of worrisome but that also means the pricing is going to be nuts fun fact though alpha sponsored our uh our uh, entry today yeah that means if you don't win he next coming for your kidney bro but if we do win he pluses a ton but whatever hopefully we win i think i think we have three solid players like in me richard and mateo richard's also just been topping out the wazoo so i'm not worried about him i honestly feel like i'm the one that's going to be needing to get carried but we'll see how it goes today i'm excited Look who it is! Uh, but yeah, I'm excited for today. It's gonna be a good day. And uh, yeah, we'll see where it goes. I'll do a deck profile for you guys later in the video as well. What did you want to say? I just want to say, make sure to subscribe to Spanko YGO. Make sure you subscribe, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button again, and then subscribe again, because then you unsubscribe. Make sure to leave a comment down below for my boy. He deserves it. You heard it here first. You heard it here first. He also told me off camera, he told me that he's gonna put me on an episode of Duel Night. So yeah, yeah. So we'll see you soon. <laughs> All right, that's gonna happen. I'm gonna make that happen. Uh, but yeah, I'll do a deck profile for you guys later to show you guys while we're playing oh here's the team actually that's the official team glue eaters anonymous we're not even spanko squad these guys don't respect me no but it's gonna be a good day i'm excited i feel like lands on dynamorphia stop watching my youtube videos <laughs> what the hell oh he's about to find out <laughs> All right, so uh, we just finished our third round of Swiss. There's only four rounds, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna be honest, we're out of it. Okay, hear me out though, okay? Richard and Mateo can both testify, but we lost in time. Oh, yeah, yeah. Every single play. I won all three matches and then two of them got flipped by time. L great. Literally, we were about to win every single time. We ended up going. Okay, so we technically went X2 uh, in three rounds, but what happens is the opponent that we were playing in our third round was X1. So they were actually paired down, right? We were paired up. And we're like, man, we're already X2. There's no point of taking the win from our opponent. So we just gave them the win so that they can continue on. Because X1, I think, if they win in their fourth round, they can go into top cut. So unfortunately, we're not making it into top cut. But I will say, this it was a really fun experience for our first 3v3 it was really unlucky literally we went again like i said we went x2 but we would have gone x0 had it not been for time richard had won his first game in our round one and then what happened is i lost so we were 1-1 one, one right now and mateo was about to win literally about to win 40 seconds left on the clock and then he just loses in time because he's down like i think a thousand life points or something like that and then around two same thing essentially happens richard loses Mateo wins and then i lose in time so very unfortunate uh Three rounds. 3 0 undefeated deck profile, except time smiley face. Watch. Time, time is tough, man. 3v3 and time is tough because everyone's always talking and wasting time. They're doing it on purpose. Konami changed the rules. A little longer than a few minutes later. All right, guys, uh, we're back from the 3v3 at my place. I'm going to show you guys the deck profile because I told you guys I would. So here it is. Uh, I'm going to be quick, though. 3 Therese, of course. 3 Diplo and 1 Miss. Uh, this never came up, but it's good, I guess. 3 Frenzy. Three domain, two brutes, one alert, as well as one sonic. Uh, I think these are good ratios. Playing three ash, three. Cr we're playing a lot of hand traps. Three crow. We're playing three imperm as well. So we're playing nine hand traps. And we are also playing the three magna as well as the one druid. These cards are actually really good. They help me push for game a lot of time, except uh, when you go into time, it's kind of tough. Uh, the 3v3, man, everyone just wants to read your cards, especially with these cards, because they don't really know what they do. And it just takes up a lot of time. So oh, they yeah. also talk between each other. Oh, and they also talk between each other. So <laughs> it was kind of unfortunate. If it wasn't going into time, I literally win every matchup, basically. 
except my first one. But my other two, I would have won. Prosperity, we're playing one because we only have the one, but we supplement it with three pot of duality. It was actually really fun. Duality is actually OP in this deck, low key. Like it always, it never conflicts. You could argue it conflicts with this, but it never actually did if you play it correctly. And then, oh, there was times actually speaking of that I dualityed into this against the tier limit matchup, which I played three tiers. And then it's nuts because now you just have it, you just dug into a hand trap against them. Three fossil dig, of course. Uh, this is a called by the grave. Three fossil dig, of course, for the dinos. One called by the grave. And then lastly, three goes in. I think the main deck is actually really good. But after playing today, I think DDG, different dimension ground, is actually an OP card. So maybe we should play those. Main deck is perfectly fine. I, I actually really like this main deck. Let me, quickly, let me quickly actually do this. I didn't do this earlier. This is getting edited out. And yeah, maybe yes. it'll probably have to get edited out. For the extra deck, we're playing three Rexstrom, three Cat, one of this. Honestly, maybe you should play two of this, but it never really comes up where you actually really need the second one. It's just kind of nice for frenzy fodder, but yeah, the other thing is, is fine. This, I thought we were going to see Pendulum a lot today, so I wanted to play that. We didn't see Pendulum at all, but this card in theory is really good in the deck. One Tornado Dragon. Also, this card's also dark, I want to say that, so it works with the goes and match. But one Tornado Dragon, two Dolka, one Logia, one Dweller. And then this was our OTK package for the day. Funny enough, this package came up one time. It actually should have came up one time, but then I prosperated it away. So I was kind of sad because this actually would have potentially won me a game. So this package is okay, but the extra deck I, I thought was fine. I don't think I would change anything really up. Maybe not, maybe a second one of that, but otherwise I think it's good. And then for the side deck, I think the side deck was really good. The problem with my side deck today was that I literally never saw it. Like I never saw it. So we played three shifter, of course, because against the tier limit matchups auto win, going first or second, you always side this in. And I didn't see it once in like, what, nine games? Nine games, I didn't see it one time. Six. And then, six. oh, six, because my game ones didn't count. Never mind. Yeah. So, six games, I didn't see it one time. Thanks for the math, guys. Uh, these, I never sided in because, uh, well, I only played tier. So, these, in theory, are not really good against tier. These, I sided in a lot, never saw them. These, I sided in a lot, sided them one time only. It was okay, but my opponent had evenly plus cosmic. So, uh, I, I judgment the evenly, of course, but he had the cosmic in the battle phase for my fusion trap. So uh, yeah, I couldn't activate it. And then two of these, I sided them in one time, but again, I didn't see it, so it didn't really matter. I think the, the side deck is actually really, really good. I just literally didn't see any of it. But yeah, uh, that's it for the deck profile. Skill issue. Skill issue. Skill issue. Sure. All right, I just want to show you guys some of the stuff we picked up at the 3v3 today. First of all, I picked up three Magic Spectre Bambukus. I really want to play Pendulum. I really want to play Draco Slayer, and you need this card, so obviously I picked up the three of them for it. We also picked up the one Ignis. I actually need two more. I could only actually find the one even after everyone opened their boxes. This was the only one pulled for some reason, so I actually need to find two more for the deck. And then we got two Dynamite Power Load. I pulled one in my packs. These are two more now. I have a playset. All we need left is the two Ignis as well as the three Ultra Rare, the Majesty one, and that's it. Then I have the entire deck, which is really nice because we also picked up three of the odd eyes revolution dragon so i'm really excited i really want to play this deck this deck is super super fun draco sire is one of my favorite archetypes in terms of the pendulum stuff so i'm really excited for it then we've also picked up a zelantis which is really nice i think this card is going to have applications in the future not so much right now but in the future it will i have a cross sheep i never actually had a secret rare and i just wanted to pick it up the one kishatri unicorn we pulled one and now we have a second one and i want to hold on to them because post uh phantom not phantom what's it called yeah, Photon, Photon Hypernova, that's what it's called. But this card is gonna be really cool, so I wanna play this. We picked that one Hobby League Monster Reborn. I'm a big fan of Hobby League cards. Uh, and actually, big shout out to Milano. I actually traded Milano for this one, so yeah, big shout out to Milano for that. And then lastly, I did wanna finish up Blackwing, so we got two Sudries. I had the one Ultra that we pulled, there's two more. Now I'm done Blackwing, so you guys can expect Blackwing to be coming to the channel soon. All right, guys, it may or may not be the next day. The guys stayed over till pretty late, so I actually never got the chance to outro this video. Also, a part of me kind I forgot but we're just gonna say i never had the chance all right but that was the 3v3 experience i had a really good time yes we didn't see the success that we may have wanted to see however it was a very fun event i definitely want to go back to another 3v3 in the future because these kind of events are very different than your typical Yu-Gi-Oh events you really have to play them differently really the whole play style is just different being able to communicate with your partners keeping yourself aware of time at all times you know when you're playing 1v1 it's not that big of an issue you can do it a lot easier when you're playing 3v3 the resource management the time management needs to be a lot better a lot quicker but again it was our first time i had a lot of fun shout out to richard and mateo for that if you guys did enjoy though make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh content just like this one we upload five days a week here on spanko deck profiles combo videos dual replays vlogs like this one product openings all that good stuff you'll see it right here on the channel so make sure you guys subscribe to tune into all that with that being said i actually gotta go get some groceries so i'll leave you at that thank you guys all for watching i appreciate every single one of you and with that spanko signing out peace